All right, here's another EOC style question. Of course, they tried to make it look hard because you got a drag and drop and it's not multiple choice, but you can handle it and let me show you a couple of tricks. So this isn't asking, is it rational or irrational? It's asking you to simplify. But if you know how to use a scientific calculator, using mathematical tools as a math standard, you'll be able to do this super easy cake. Notice how this says, which is equivalent to 10 square roots of five? Well, what the heck does that mean? Well, let's type in 10 square roots of five. 10 square roots to five gives me a something around 22, let's do blue, 22.36, okay? Then it says, all right, well, what is five square roots of 10? Well, five times the square root of 10 gives me 15.8. And now it doesn't matter with rounding, don't ask about it, we're just doing sketches, okay? 10 square roots of 10. So once you figure this out, 31.62, this is where it becomes so easy, okay? We just type each one of those in and match up the decimals. That's it. Two square roots of two times the square root of 250. Now, should I absolutely show you the long way to do this? Yup, but I'm not going to. 31.62, that means this goes in here, okay? And actually, I'm just gonna write it. So on the test, you would drag it over. All right, now we've got our next problem. Five square roots of two, click out, times the square root of five. 15.81, so we would drag that one here. I know, you're like, Doc, did they really make this this easy? Yes, because back in the day, we couldn't use a calculator. You can use the math tools to your advantage. Five square roots of five plus five square roots of five. Now, some of you notice that the square root of five and the square root of five are the same. You just add five plus five is 10 and you get 10 square roots of five. So maybe you could have done that in your brain or you can use the calculator, see 22.36, 22.36, which is 10 square roots of five. So here's the thing with the calculator. Lazy people would just prefer to get it wrong. Smart people use the calculator, take the extra two minutes and get it right. Square root of 50 times the square root of five. I'm gonna click out. Okay, 15.811. And in a second, I'm going to, I will show you one example of doing this the long way. Um, here's the last one, the square root of five, click out times the square root of 10, click out times the square root of 10, gives you 22.36, which goes right here. Now, because I want to be a good math teacher, here comes the long way to do this for a couple problems, okay? Here I have two square roots of 250. I know that I see 25 in it, five times five is 25. So I can break this down into the square root of 25 and the square root of 10. And this two comes down for the ride. The square root of 25 is five. I can't break down the square root of 10 anymore. Two times five is 10. 10 square roots of 10. Now, if I did that too fast, guess what? This is a video, you can rewatch it. Here comes the next one. Here I've got five square roots of two times the square root of five. In this example, we're just multiplying the coefficients. We have five times one, which is five. And then inside I'm multiplying two times five. Well, two times five is 10. Okay, um, next one. I have five square roots of five plus five square roots of five. I already verbally said how to do this because we're adding and these are the same, you kind of can treat it like X's. So the square root of five just hangs out. Five plus five is 10. All right, here comes the next one. I have the square root of 50 times the square root of five. Well, that's the same thing as multiplying those two numbers together, which gives you the square root of 250. We already did the square root of 250 in the pink section. That breaks up to 25 and 10. The square root of 25 is five, and we have the square root of 10. The difference between pink and purple is we didn't carry down the two. 
Um, and then the last one, which color do I want to do? Okay, I'll just do it up here. So you can do it this way. I would do the calculator, even though I know how to do it the right way. Um, all these numbers get multiplied together. So I'll do it the short way. Five times 10 is 50. Then we got 50 times 10 is 500. In this case, I'm gonna break it out into 25 and 20, or well, no, 500, it's got 100 in it. What was I thinking? Super easy. The square root of 100 is 10, and then the square root of five comes down. So it takes longer to do it the right, I don't wanna say the right way, it takes longer to do it algebraically, but you're allowed, it's a math standard to know how to use tools. You're allowed to use the calculator, use the calculator, turn things into decimals, compare, drag and drop, done.